Hello everyone and welcome to Cabbage Patch Soap. My name is Laura and today I will be making ghost flower soap. But I want to start by saying Happy Thanksgiving to everyone and I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Today the soap is going to be a little bit different. I'm just going to use white and make a swirl. It's going to be very pretty. So here I've added the lye water to the oils and I'm just going to blend this together. Ghost flower is a floral fragrance so it's going to accelerate a little bit so I need to work quickly once I add the fragrance so I don't want to get this batter uh, too thick I'm just gonna leave it fluid like this and we're gonna divide it roughly in half and add a little bit more until it's roughly even And then I'm going to add white to only one half. And these little cups that I use are biodegradable. And then I have these tiny spatulas that I use to help get the color out of them. And the white has been mixed with a little bit of olive oil first to help it mix into the batter a little bit better. So I'm just going to mix this in. The white will also cause the batter to thicken up a little bit as well as the fragrance so you'll see towards the end how how thick it is compared to the uncolored portion so i've just added the fragrance oil to this and this has a really nice fragrance to it it has kind of a it's almost warm to, and it's a uh, has kind of uh, like an amber fragrance and like a sweet cactus pear it smells really good and then here I'm just mixing up the uncolored portion. And what I'm going to do is kind of an in the pot swirl, but you'll see since the white thickened, it's going to give it a really unique pattern. So here I'm taking the white and I'm just going to drop it into the uncolored portion. And you can see how thick this is. It happens that quickly. So I have to really work fast. I'm just going to scrape out the rest of the white. And then I'm going to pour it into the mold. And it doesn't look like much now. But when I slice it, you'll see it has a very dramatic pattern. I'm just getting, helping it level and getting out the air bubbles. And then this is a bluish gray silvery color. I'm just going to use it to make a pretty pattern on the top. It's a really pretty shimmery effect. I'm just going to bring it up so you can see an up close picture of it. And right now it just looks gray, but once it sets, it'll have a very silvery look and it looks really nice in person. So here it is the next day. I'm just going to line it up on the cutter here. And I'm going to stop the sides from falling out because I want to wait till we pull out a slice to see the pattern. And here it is. I really like how subtle it is. I think it really matches the ghost flower name. Here's another slice. That side looks really neat. There's the pretty top. 
It has a very feathery look to it. And this is the last slice. And there's the top again. So even though it's a very simple design, I think it looks very dramatic and very pretty. And these are the ends that I'll slice up later. If you're new to my channel, I upload every Monday and every Thursday. These soaps will be available on December 1st in my Etsy shop. I'll leave all the information down below. And thank you for watching. Consider liking and subscribing. Have a great day and a happy Thanksgiving.